Oh, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Dylan. Hopefully, each and every single one of you are feeling fine and fantastic. Yes, today we're going to take a look at another requested movie, ladies and gentlemen. This is called Cinderella. Now, this is the animation. I got confused. I didn't know what they wanted to watch, whether it was the animation or the live action. I'm not too sure. But we're watching the animation from 1950s or something like that guys i'm not too sure like i said this was requested over on patreon so without further ado let's jump straight into it guys i don't know who the voice actors are at all so let's just go in blind like we always do guys um the cinderella story i somewhat know about through the books and things like that growing up so um yeah i'm quite intrigued to watch the movie itself and Let's see the book come to life because, as we know from Snow White and Seven Dwarfs, it's it's magical seeing it come to life. So, anyway, guys, go check this out on full if you do enjoy it. If you want to watch content daily over on Patreon, guys, that's the best way to support us. And the best way to get entertainment every single day is over on Patreon, guys. We've got TV series and movies. And now we've got a new system that is coming out over on, well, Patreon and YouTube. Um, I'll be able to upload soon as I record, so hopefully you guys do enjoy that, and we won't have to spend seven, eight hours waiting for it to render to to go up onto Patreon, and then another seven, eight hours for it to render to go up on the edited version. Well, seven or eight hours. Well, it takes about that long to render it, but then it takes seven or eight hours just to edit the one movie. So. Anyway, guys, it will all have a quicker process, so hopefully you guys do enjoy it. Let us know in the comment section down below. Let us know if you're enjoying the new microphone. This is the way it's going to be now in the future, because when we go to Australia, this is exactly what it's going to be. We're going to have the bare minimum in Australia when we get to Australia, and we're going to start from scratch again in Australia. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, let's do this. Let's go. Let's get it. Cinderella. I'm going to be honest. I've forgotten the story about Cinderella. Once upon a time, in a faraway land, peaceful, prosperous, and rich in romance and tradition, there lived a widowed gentleman and his little daughter, Cinderella. Still, he felt she needed a mother's care, and so he married again, choosing for his second wife... Ah, and yeah, that's family, right. ...Anastasia and Rosella. And they were jealous of her. the death of this good man, however, that the stepmother's true nature was revealed. She was grimly determined to forward the interests of her own two awkward daughters. That's that's crazy. For the family fortunes were squandered upon the vain and selfish stepsisters. Yeah, I was about to say, I wonder why. Abused, I wonder why. Cinderella remained ever gentle and kind. And if you think about it, the Cinderella story is actually inspirational to everyone that suffers abuse out there that you can overcome this shit. You can overcome it and become better. Simple. And it's not your fault. A lot of people will blame themselves. It's not your fault. It's just that the, the cards have been handed to you in the wrong form, in the wrong fashion, the wrong way. And now it's time for you to reshuffle those cards and to get a good hand. Simple. <sighs> well, serves you right, spoiling people's best dreams. Hmm. Oh, that's the worst, too. When people wake you up and you have an amazing dream. Oh, I rarely get it. But when people wake me up, especially when you're older and you realize when you have kids, you, it happens to you all the time. When you are having an amazing dream and you get woken up, oh, it's the worst feeling. You're like, wait, what? Oh, I was swimming in a pool of hamburgers. What's going on here? If you keep on See, and that's the amazing story of Cinderella right there. Time to start another day. Even he orders me around. They can't order me to stop dreaming. Dream big. Dream big. See, now reading the book when younger, guys, this is what this is what I tell people all the time, right? A lot of these old school animations, a lot of these old school stories, right, that they started out in Disney, 
the message was so bloody brilliant and so obvious. There was nothing like, there was no secret messages, whatever. It was just like, bang, it got straight to the point. And this is why I love old school Disney animation, because it doesn't confuse the shit out of you, yeah? It doesn't confuse it. It literally gets to the point. Every single scene. And that's what I love. That's what I love. When it gets to the point in every single scene. And it doesn't have this cloud above you like thinking, wait, what are they doing here? Are they trying to do a secret message for us? No. They're literally, like, they're so straightforward in these old school Disney animations that it's incredible, the transformation now. There's so many hidden messages inside that you have to uncover yourself. And that's not right. Because you're confusing the shit out of kids. Whereas here, like, like I said, it's like even as a kid, you understand the message. And it's clear, and that's the way it should be. That's the way it should be. The message has to be clear. And I love that. I love this message of Cinderella. It's it's not about like all oh, lovey dovey. It's not about that. It's about believing in yourself and never giving up in your on yourself at all. Because she could have done that. Hmm. Well, she'll need a dress and a... Hmm? No, no, no! Where? In the trap. Why didn't you say so? Huh. Oh, the poor little thing scared to death. It's probably full of Jack, diseases. Maybe you better explain things to him. Zook Zook, Flinderelli, Zook Zook. We like you. Flinderelli like you too. She's nice, very nice. Well, let's just slip it on for size. Guys, oh my gosh, that is a that was like a sports bra on him then. Um, did you guys get like when you when you had these books right? I'd had these books at the school, but with them they came their little tape decks as well. You remember the old little cassette? Te- yeah, I'm that old, or I understand, bro. Right? And people before me they had more old school stuff. I understand that, right? Young kids at home, but there was little tape decks, right? That came with this. And it would literally narrate the story for you as you're reading it. Did you guys get that at all? I got that a lot at the, with the Disney books in the library, yeah? And I used to uh, uh, borrow from the library and get these tape decks. Hmm. I'm just thinking if they make any of those anymore. Or they just all, now they've just gone to movies, yeah, online. I've got one. Octavius. But for short, we'll call you Gus. And don't forget to warn him about the cat. Oh, yeah, there's a cat. It's a black cat, isn't it? A big, fat black cat. <laughs> Bloody hell, look how big those doors are, bro. Those doors are absolutely massive. There's the cat. This little, this bloody bastard. God, he looks even more evil in the animation than the book. And the and the sound effects to it, though. The... Lucifer, come here. It's certainly not my idea to feed you first. It's orders. The fat cat gets treated better than freaking Cinderella. Bruno! <laughs> Chasing Lucifer? Catch him this time. That's bad. Just learn to like cats. Oh. Oh. No, I mean it. Well, sometimes he... <laughs> there must be... He's a little brick, isn't he? Bruno. Ah. Come on now. Bloody Lucifer. Outside. Bloody Lucifer. But at least we should try to get along together. Next time, everybody up. <laughs> breakfast? Oh, breakfast! <laughs> Lucifer, how are we gonna get out? <laughs> Got an idea. Now somebody gotta sneak out. I like how they say, listen, Ibby Jibby, Ibby Jibby. Now we choose a way to do it. Ibby Jibby, hop, hop, hop. Ah, he chose himself. <laughs> Congratulations. R.I.P.
Wow, a mouse can do that. Boil. Here. Hey, yeah, Cinderella. It's keeping him distracted here for a long time. He's like a bloody white. Oh. Wow. Just leave him for f sakes. Like Popeye. Yeah. Rosie got away. What the hell? Alright, alright. I'm coming. Oh my goodness. Oh no, I think I like the movie better. I think I like the movie better, guys. A bit more of a better storytelling, to be honest. <laughs> Lucifer, don't be a prick. So maybe, I never thought about that. Maybe it would have been good if Lucifer actually did capture the mouse before she went in there. Because this is how things started to hit the fan, isn't it true? Poor little Gus. Did you ever learn Cinderella? Cinderella? Are you gonna get it? Close the door, Cinderella. Well, yeah, they're even more ugly in here than the freaking books. Look at Lucifer's snidey smile. Oh, Prick. please, you don't think that Hold I... Hold your to... tongue. There's the large carpet in the main hall. Clean it. Oh, yes, and the tapestries and the draperies. But I just fit. Do them again. And one more thing. See that Lucifer gets his bath. <laughs> Take that, you prick! My son has been avoiding his responsibilities long enough. It's high time he married and settled down. Want to see my grandchildren before I go? I understand, son. No. I'm lonely in this desolate old palace. Bloody hell! It's a bloody <laughs> massive place! Just a boy meeting a girl under the oh, right look, conditions. Cinderella. If the prince should suspect... Suspect? Ah! Well, what could be more natural than a ball to celebrate his return? Why, he's bound to show interest in one of them, isn't he? Soft lights. Romantic music. Very well, sir. I shall arrange the ball for... Tonight. And see that every eligible maid is there. Nightingale, sing sweet, sing sweet nightingale. Bloody Lucifer's a little prick, isn't he? Bloody Lucifer, man. That must have been the most evil place to live, honestly. Like, I know it's just an animation, yeah, just a, it's just a fictional story, but there's got to be someone, people out there, I, I guarantee you there is, that live in a life similar to this, and it must be painful. It must be absolutely horrible. Oh, oh. Oh, you look, bloody thing. prick. I'm just going to have to teach you a lesson. Cut him up and put him Open into in a kebab, will ya? Bloody bastard. An message from oh, Peter on me. What's it say, Cinderella? <laughs> What's it say, huh? Maybe I should interrupt the uh, music lesson. 
Oh, oh my God. God. It's her fault, Mother. Above all, self-control. Cinderella, I've warned you never to interrupt but while... this just arrived from the palace. Of... I'll read it. There's to be a ball. A ball? In honor of His Highness, the Prince. Ooh. Every eligible maiden is to attend. Why, that means I can go, too. Huh. Would you mind holding my broom? <laughs> well, How's that funny? Why not? That's a funny! After all, I'm still a member of the family. Well, I see. Bloody pricks, I. Eh? So disrespectful to her, it's unbelievable, man. You get all your work done? Oh, I will. I promise. I'm sure I can. Oh, thank you, stepmother. Do you realize Sinister what you Sinister plan you're behind saying? it. Of course. I said, if. If. See? <laughs> <laughs> sinister, sinister, mean, cruel people. Isn't it lovely? It was my mother's. Yes, but I brought a different. Oh, this one. Oh, very nice. Yeah, I like it. Who can do it? Oh, now what do they want? General. All right, all right, I'm coming. See, I can't remember this bit. I can't remember this bit. Every time she find a minute, that's the time when they be given. Cinderella not go to the ball. What? <laughs> Poor Cinderella. Do the dress for her. We can do it, we can do it. Oh, yeah, actually, they have, I can think they do it, actually. Surprise, surprise! And before you begin your regular chores. Mother, I don't see why everybody else seems to have such nice things to wear. But I wouldn't be seen dead in it. You should talk. These beads. Ungrateful bloody pricks. Ungrateful. Oh, Lucifer. I didn't realize Lucifer played such a big role inside of this. I couldn't remember Lucifer this much. Take that. Oh, bead. Oh, very pretty bead. Oh. I love the fact that there was buttons there, symbolizing that he's dumb as buttons as well. Because let's face it, Lucifer, man, like he should have caught these 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 rats. I don't know what you will call them a long time ago. Oh, my Wiggly Worm. like a big baby. Que bonita. Que bonita. Seeing this animation come to life is uh is awesome. I bet you the live action is just as good too, eh? Yes. The carriage is here. Oh, I'm not going. Not going. Yeah. Oh, Wonder why you pricks. Absolute but of course, pricks. There will be other times, and uh, yes. Good night. Pricks. What absolute scumbags, honestly. What? It's my. Look how beautiful that looks. It's such a surprise. Oh, oh, thank you so much. Now remember, when you're presented to His Highness, be sure. Wait, isn't it lovely? Do you like it? Mm, look at their faces. Mother, she can't. Oh, no, no, you, oh, you, you just can't. Have a Girls, after all, we did make a bargain, and I never go back on my word. They give it just the right touch. Ah, oh, why you little thief! They are my bees. Girls, girls. I won't have you upsetting yourselves. <laughs> Good night. Unbelievable. 
Ah, oh, unbelievable, man. Poor soul. It's unbelievable how there's pricks out there like that, eh? It, and I know, I know for a fact that there's pricks out there that'll do that. And it's not necessarily, like, do that exact thing. But it's the mental thought of it. So they rip you apart like that, yeah? Without actually ripping you apart. But inside of their head, in their mind, and inside of your head, they're ripping you apart. It's horrible. It's horrible. But no, no, it isn't true. Don't give up. I We've got about 28 minutes left or so, more or less. Ah, who was this? Nothing, my dear. If you'd lost all your faith, I couldn't be here. And here I am. You can't go to the ball looking like that. The ball? The world that I do with that magic wand. I, I was magic sure I... what? Your fairy godmother? Fairy godmother. Of course. There we go. The fairy godmother. I put it away. She did all that she because she it. wanted to show Let's off. Let's see. Pumpkin. But a, a, a pumpkin? Mm -hmm. A pumpkin. Now, now, the cart. The cart. It's the carriage. Sorry, oh, carriage. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> yes, isn't it? So Could well animated, go. isn't it? We'll simply have to have uh, <coughs> mice. <laughs> Just a wave of my stick and to finish the trick. Puppety boop. I was sure there were four there. There should be one more. Boom. But tonight, for a change, you'll handle the reins. Boom. Don't try to thank me. Oh, I wasn't. I, I uh, she fixes it and do. puts a little flower, I think. think like right here on the right shoulder. I think that's what she does. In the book, I'm pretty sure that's what she does in the book. All right, I was wrong. It's a white one. Beautiful dress. <laughs> Did you ever see such a beautiful see, dress? See, I, I told you, I can't remember hardly anything about the book. Honestly. Yes. Why, it's like a dream. A wonderful dream come true. You'll have only till midnight and then night. Oh, thank you. Oh, no, no, no. On the stroke of 12, the spell will be broken. It's more than I ever hoped for. Bless you, my child. Hurry up, dear. The ball can't wait. Have a good time. Princess Frederica Eugenie de la Fontaine, the daughter of General Pierre Dubois. Ah, that boy isn't cooperating. Because he hasn't found who he loves yet. Must be at least one who'd make a suitable mother. Shh, son. Holy crap! How massive is this place, man? This place is so massive, it's unbelievable, man. <laughs> How hideous! No doubt you saw the whole pretty. In other words, stubborn. There she stands. Quite literally. <laughs> Who she is or whence she came, he knows not, nor does he care. Here is the maid predestined to be his bride. But in real life, oh no. no. I like it, I like it. Doomed to I failure. like it. Take a look at that, you pompous windbag. <laughs> That's one thing in her favor. The waltz, quick, the waltz. <laughs> the lights. The lights. <laughs> Notify me immediately. If anything goes wrong, voila! <laughs> oh, some of the lines in this have been written so well, I swear. But I knew I've never seen her. Nor I. There is something familiar about her. So this is love, I'm all aglow, my heart has wings, mm -hmm. oh. oh my goodness. What's the matter? By the way guys, I know you're probably thinking, like, why didn't you watch this with Tanya? Tanya's seen this five million times and she said she doesn't want to see it again. Other animations, she will. 
but she's seen it five million times, so that's why. Because I was just thinking, now it'd be good to watch this with Tanya, but she didn't want to. You can't go now. It's only. Oh, I must, please, please, I must. Uh, I haven't met the prince. The prince? Oh, please come back. I don't even know your name. How will I find you? Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, <laughs> I'm there sorry. I I guess I forgot about everything. Little Cinderella, you forgot your, your temper. Oh. And that's how they're able to find her. Thank you so much for everything. Your Majesty, I see no point in beating about the bush, leaving behind only this glass slipper. <laughs> yes. I just can't. Bro, how come everything's just so big? Everything's so massive. <laughs> Your Majesty. So he's proposed already. Invitations, a national holiday, all that. National sort of thing. holiday. Here, have a cigar. We'll think a few more. She got away. So she got away. She what? Why you? Remember, you, you, your blood pressure. Visa! No! Sabotage! He won't rest till he finds her. He's determined to marry her. Prince <laughs> Sire swears he'll marry none but the girl who fits this slipper. Got him. <laughs> He's given his word. We'll hold him to it. No, no, your highness. You'll try this on every maid in my kingdom. And if the shoe fits... Yes? Your Majesty. Cinderella! Oh, where is that? Yes, here I am. Well, don't just stand there. Bring up the breakfast trays at once. I don't know. It's mine now. Come on. Drizella. Uh, what? Get up. Anastasia? Anastasia. What? Oh, everyone's talking about it. The whole kingdom. Grand Duke. He's been hunting all night. The one who lost her slipper at the ball last night. Prince. You clumsy little fool. If he's in love with that girl, why should we even bother? There is still a chance that one of you can get him. Huh? One of us. No. My no mother, chance. What do you mean? Just, no. No chance. Not even the prince knows who that girl is. We know. Yeah, she, he knows the description of her. He knows what she looks like. Hello? The glass slipper is their only clue. And if one can be found whom the slipper fits, that girl shall be the prince's bride. His bride? You must fix my head after she's brushed my shoes. Wake up, stupid. We've got to get dressed. Mother, did you see what she did? Why Are you just going to let her walk out here? Here we go. What you gonna do? Shh, I don't know. Gotta watch it. Now the anger sets in. Now the anger sets in. Oh no! No, please! Oh, you can't! You must let me out! You can't take me in here! She can't do it! She can't knock up the money! I'm gonna. What a prick! This is your last chance. Don't fail me. Their foot is not gonna fit the slipper. Announcing his imperial grace, the Grand Duke. Drizella? Anastasia? Your grace. It is upon this day decree. Why, that's my slipper. It's my slipper. No, no, no. Your it's a slipper. The sole and express purpose of said quest to be as follows to wit. <laughs> that every single ah, man the the kingdom without... Said noble prince will humbly upon bed and need beg, request, or if need be, implore. And in due course, upon the inevitable demise of his most gracious and august majesty, the king. May we offer you some tea? No. What? No. Uh, we must proceed with the, uh, the fitting. Of course. There. I knew it was my slipper. Oh, as soon as I saw huh. one, I said, oh, perfectly before. 
No. I don't think you're half trying. Can Not you gonna work. Are you sure you're trying it on the right foot? <laughs> Come on, Gus Gus. Flurry. Come on, Gus stand. Gus. Hurry, hurry, Gus Gus. Oh, I swear, Gus Gus is like so clumsy. Poor little fella. Come on, guys, hurry up. How did you ever manage to. Oh. Let him go, Bloody Lucifer. Uh. Run! Yes, Bruno! Quick, get Bruno! Get! Come on, Bruno! I'll make it fit! It fits! It fits? <laughs> <gasps> it shan't happen again, precisely, madam. Take that, Lucifer. You are the only ladies of the household, I hope. Uh, I presume. There's no one else, Your Grace. Good day. Your Grace. Your Grace. She made it out. Take that, you pricks. Oh, pay no attention to her. It's only Cinderella. My orders were every maiden. What will he do? But perhaps if it would help. No, no, nothing. I have the idea. <laughs> Woo! It fits. <laughs> Magnificent. Absolutely magnificent. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. All right, so there's a lot of morals inside of this, guys. And let me just say that one of the biggest one is basically, I've said it time and time again, guys, and I'll say it again right now. And this is just facts. Like, this is honestly facts, guys. People that do bad things to you or people that do wrong by you, Forgive, but don't forget what they've done. But forgive them. Don't forget. You should never forget what they do because it will be coming just around the corner again. But forgive. And what I mean by that is that's how you move on in life is by forgiving. And what I mean by that is if someone has done something bad to you or done something evil, then it's going to ruin your life as well. And essentially, it's not going to ruin their life because the people that do those evil things, they have no heart. Just remember that. So they don't really care. You're the one that's going to suffer. So and until you forgive, is when you can move on. Trust me, it's the best cure for everything. Absolute best cure. And kind-hearted people go a long way in this world. Kind-hearted people are the people that we should hold on to, the people that we should have close to us. Yes, you can keep your enemies close. That, that That's a cliche saying that's been around for years. But let me just say that the ones that you should have around you are the ones that are kind-hearted people. And I know, I know people in the business world will say the opposite sort of things. It's, you don't worry about those sorts of things. You worry about the people that are successful. They're the ones that should be around you. But at the end of the day, when it comes to going home, when it comes to the real world, coming down to the real world, those are the people, the kind-hearted people, are the ones that you should be holding dear to your heart. Now, Cinderella is a perfect story for this. It's a perfect, perfect demonstration for us all that kindness within our heart will also come with luck 
And what I mean by that, she got very lucky. Yes, I know there was rats helping her. I mean, it's to be impossible. But it's the fact that luck was on her side. Luck was on her side. Out of everyone, out of everyone, she found her true love. Because she kept to her morals. She kept to the kind-hearted. She could have exploded towards what what happened when the way her 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 stepmom was treating her and her stepsisters. She could have exploded, but she didn't. She absolutely didn't. And I understand everyone everyone needs to get frustration out sometimes. But let me just say that's how you let people win. You let people win by getting angry and showing that to them. Because they would do it to you and to other people because they know they can get the satisfaction out of doing that. So just remember that. That's a piece of advice for you guys. So Cinderella is a perfect story, like I said. Absolutely perfect story. Um, it didn't go for that long. I, I was hoping it would go for longer, um, uh, but it didn't. So it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, and another thing too, like don't let bad things ruin your heart. So if you're a good person, you're a good person by nature. These bad things that happen to you, don't be the person that say, oh, you know what, bad things have happened to me, the world's shitting on me, you know, I'm just going to give up, you know what, I don't care, I don't care anymore, don't be that, do not do it, because you're going to spiral this way, when things bad, when bad things happen to you, that is the moment, you should spiral this way, because at that moment, you're at a low point, at that moment, you're at a low thought. But once you get your act together, once you get your mind right, straight up there. And you can go up here and then just level out. Or you could just keep on going. It's up to you. But even if you level out here, no problem. That's a sweet life. That's a sweet-ass life. But let, just, let me just remind you guys. Let me just remind you guys. That, like I said, if you fill your heart with anger and hatred, jealousy, you're not going to get long in this world. You're not going to get far in this world. You're not. It's going to eat you alive eventually. And when you're sitting there at night time thinking about anger towards someone, hatred towards someone, Someone else could be taking your success. And what I mean by that, it doesn't mean money-wise. It doesn't mean job-wise. It means life. Someone could be living your life while you're regretting not having some sort of life. It's what you make it. You have to get out. You have to do it. Don't get angry. Don't get mad. Don't get upset about what cards life has dealt you. Don't do that. Because, hey, you may have 20, 30 years of crap in your life. But what else is there? You're here. What way can you go? Yeah. Simple. Very, very simple, guys. So just think about that. Uh, this is what I'm saying. Like Cinderella was a perfect example for young kids to understand a story, understand morals. Quick, smart, quick, easy. Treating others with respect. And that's missing. That's lacking these days. That's lacking. And I don't want to sound like I'm one of these old tackers. I'm not. I'm a millennial. I was born in the 90s. I was born in the early 90s. But that lack of respect is not there. And I see it firsthand everywhere. Especially being a former teacher. I see it. So for me guys, I'm giving this film 8 out of 10. For me, it's a bloody solid film. 
really uh, solid animation. I, I enjoyed it. For me, 8 out of 10. The The way this was animated was perfect. The color. The, the animation, I know this is 1950s. I understand that, yeah? But you got to realize, 1950s. Just put that in your head. 1950s. Well animated for me. Absolutely well animated. The sound effects, the the, the music was beautiful. I love the, the the way the animals sound, especially the birds. They were so relaxing and just absolutely spot on for me. Absolutely spot on. And the lines. The lines were written well for this. Let's not lie about this. Let's not beat around the bush. The lines were written really, really well. All right, guys. I'm going to head out. Hopefully, you did enjoy it. Let me know in the comment section down below. Go check this out in full over on Patreon. And I'll speak to you in a couple hours' time, guys, over on Patreon with another video. TV series. Bye.